students from across Tiverton High School were able to get out from the classroom and discover the science behind our air ballooning this week. Ahead of next month's Tiverton Balloon Festival here on our campus, Aerosaurus came down to show the pupils the physics of flying, as well as the meteorology, map reading, and how heat causes lift. The idea is to introduce um, ballooning in a small way to the classes, but mainly to to diversify from the direct thing about hot air ballooning into things like physics, hot air, meteorology, navigation. We've been looking at maps, we've been looking at weather balloons, we've been looking at the clouds, we've been talking about the, the effects, the energy of heat. And yes, we've been using a hot air balloon as, as the catalyst to bring it all together. But it, it's just demonstrating various sciences uh, with, the, with the hot air balloon as the tool for that. I hope they'll go away enthused about possibly ballooning, but also about the weather, about the different climatic situations in a, in a you know in a relative ski, uh, scheme to their age group, but and maybe think a little bit about the conditions, about their environment, uh, and about really what's going on around them, um, because obviously a hot air balloon is totally, totally weather dependent. So that's why it's such a good tool to demonstrate all, your, all the environment situation. The science department invited the hot air balloon company down to the school and two groups of students from across year 7s, 8s and 9s were able to get a hands on approach of, on the basics of ballooning. Today's been very good to get students out of the science labs and actually involved in science, how it works on the ground. It's been brilliant to see them all interacting with the hot air balloon and engaging in questions and answers. Okay, um, did you did you think um, Aerosaurus did a good job today? I think they did a very good job today. And what do you hope the uh, what do you, what do you ex hope exactly the students got out of all of this? I hope they're much more inspired and they're thinking about science more in the environment, and uh, particularly with the uh, hot air balloon festival coming up in a few weeks. Hopefully they'll be more involved and more enthusiastic. Although they're very enthusiastic already. Hey. And the Tibetan Balloon Festival will be open to the public here in the school and the college grounds from the 12th on the to the 14th of July. And we'll be back then to cover the weekend's activities. Eli Stribley from THN.